usually practiced by little girls in pigtails. Also quite an art is practiced by big men in boxing trunks. Try it at this pace for about six minutes. You'll soon find out what ails you. Highly recommended for footwork, leg muscles, wrist and arm action, and rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Kid stuff? Go ahead and try it. I hope you're doing really well. Just here drinking some coffee. Once I finish this cup, I'm going to go outside and jump rope. And I hope this video finds you doing really well wherever you are. And I hope you enjoyed that clip of Sunny Liston skipping and the one on the screen at the moment. That was definitely some interesting commentary with the other clip. But the guy is right. Jumping rope is fantastic for rhythm. Just a fantastic overall body conditioner. And as he said, if you're new to jumping rope, just try six minutes you'll quickly find out that it's a fantastic form of conditioning. A few things that we can notice about Sunny Liston. I want to point out one observation in particular, but just a few things first. He was a heavyweight champion, so he was a big guy. But look at look how well he moves on his feet. He looks very agile, light on his feet. And when he jumps rope, it just looks like he's having a lot of fun. When he starts doing crossovers, he uses his upper arms a lot more to spin the rope. But when he's doing his basic boxer skips, throwing in some footwork uh, tricks, he keeps his upper arms close to the sides of his body, very relaxed, and he has great wrist movement. He's spinning the rope largely using his wrists, and his forearms and elbows will be engaged, but the fact that he has his upper arms close to the sides of his body means that he'll be spinning the rope, and he does spin the rope really well using his wrists. One observation that I want to point out is something that I pointed out in connection with Mike Tyson in a previous video. In these clips, if you watch Sonny Liston, you will notice that he keeps his lips folded over top of one another, something that Mike Tyson does when, or did when he jumped rope, which means the fact that he has his lips closed together, it means that he's breathing through his nose, at least when he's doing basic boxer skip techniques and it looks like even when he starts incorporating more advanced moves as well so he keeps his lips, lips pursed together which means he's breathing through his nose and he might even just find this technique calming. Mike Tyson was a, a bit of a fan of Sonny Liston so perhaps Mike Tyson picked this up from Sonny Liston or it was just something Mike Tyson found out himself worked well keeping his lips folded over causing him to breathe through his nose and perhaps he just found that mouth positioning very comfortable very relaxing and we see here Sonny Liston also did it perhaps it's something that you can try maybe it will benefit you 